let me go to SC16N and let me execute this table. You see, I cannot edit it. I do not have the ability to edit this entry or nor do I have the ability to add or delete or change. You see, the save button is also not activated. All right. Now, let's do the magic. I go back to SC16N screen. On the command bar, I give slash H. All right. You know that when you put slash S, the debugger starts. So, I'll hit return button once. It will become debugging switched on. And I'll hit the return button one more time. So, this time when I hit the enter button, it takes me to this debugger screen. Here, in this right hand side, you see this variable, variable, variables. So, this in this screen, I'll just put gd. First, I'll put gd edit or gd sap edit. So, both of these values, if you see, these are blank. That means you are not given uh, uh, ability to debug or edit the screen so we are forcing the system to help us make it editable so here i i just hit that pencil and then it i'll put here x and then hit enter so the value is set to x and it is not editable now editable now now i'll again hit the change fill content x and then i'll hit enter you are all set so we said that this SAP edit has to be activated and edit has to be activated. Now I press I press F8 or continue. Now let's execute it. Here you go. So you see this? These are editable now. Now I can change the company code to 006 and I can hit save. I can change the type, any type I want. I check I can change the quantity from 0, I can make it 10. Now let me hit the save button. Here you go. It says that you changed one row because we changed the value of first row. I hit OK. I go back and now I come back again. You see here it has been changed successfully. The company code has changed and the quantity has changed. Now since this uh, toolbar has been activated, you can do whatever you want. Say I want to copy this. So I'll say I'll copy this and so but since you are you, the primary key is same you cannot use it so i want to delete it now so i'll delete it all right so another thing is i can do copy this item and then add another new line and then i say paste it and then i change the value i'll say this is 255 and this i'll say is item number 10 and this company code i say company code is 10 all right now let's hit the save button. Here you go. You just inserted a new row. Alright. So I, if I go out and if I come back in, you have that new row appended here. This is the one which we entered just now. Alright. So you can delete it. I already showed you how to delete it, but I'll show you one more time. You just click the delete row. Here you go. And then hit the save button. Here you go. One entry deleted or you deleted a row if i go back and if i come back again you that entry is deleted as long as you are in the same screen and in the same session you will be able to delete or uh, sorry edit any table you can delete activate any table say i want to use some other table so this is some custom table which i have in my system and let's see execute so no entry found okay I'll, I'll give some other data. Let's see. Now let me check if I have some data here. All right. I have some data over here. Okay. So what I will show you, I'll show you how to activate it again. So it is just kind of a revision for you. What I'll do, I'll hit, I'll say press H, hit enter, debugger switched on. I'll hit one more time enter and now GD edit. So since uh, I was in the same screen, the GD uh, SAP edit is already X. I just need to make another X here. And then hit continue or press F8. Now I'll hit execute. Here you go. Look here. The table becomes editable. And you should be knowing that the primary keys are not editable. 
so if you want to change the primary key you need to copy it and then put a new row okay but the non-primary keys are editable now you can change whatever you want here all right so this is for the custom table now let's check how we can do the same thing in the standard tables changing the standard tables are also same because standard table and custom table both are tables so they have to be a same way so i'll go to sc16 and one more time i'll put mara say the well-known table material master table mara i execute it you see nothing is editable all right now i go back here i do slash h i hit enter i'll hit enter one more time and i'll do the same thing what i'll do i'll put those two variables you just need to remember these two variables all right you can note it down you can write it in your notepad record it whatever you want just need to know this too so i change it to x and now hit f8 and now hit f8 here you go the whole table is editable for you now so i can say that the created date i want to change it to today's date so i'll change it to 7 19 2018 i can change that created by i'll i'll give someone's name i'll say batch underscore say fi okay i can change material number i can i can do anything i want so i can give the height weight length whatever you want and then hit the save button all right it says one row change so whatever we did in the custom table you can do all the things in the standard tables but i'll strongly suggest again i'll want to remember what spider-man's uncle said you need to be very responsible and very ethical okay so you can uh, you can change the data for your testing but don't try to use this trick to fool your clients okay so you should not do that so you should be very uh, ethical you need to know what you're trying to do and try not to use this until unless you are not able to create any data or you are not in a hurry and always use this trick in your non-productive environment you can use it in your development environment or even in your quality environment but never try to do this in your production environment all right let's go to the next advanced debugging topic